Hey guys, Tree here. So we've been meaning to do weekly video vlogs for quite some time now. And just we've been busy, you know, things get put off. Uh, we're running a 24 hour stream here, so we don't really get much off time. And we just haven't been able to get everyone together at the same time. Like, without one person being completely exhausted and the other one being like half asleep or just whatever. So basically I'm just doing this one by myself. I'm going to uh, try to give a little recap over everything that happened in November. Today is December 1st. And um, a lot happened actually. So I'll start at the beginning of the month. Inigo and I left to Las Vegas. We met up with Datmonts, who is an awesome Diablo 3 Path of Exile streamer. And uh, we drove to Anaheim to BlizzCon. And we actually made a video about our trip to BlizzCon. It's like a 30 minute video up on our YouTube. Um, I'll add a link here. You can check that out. Had a really great time. Uh, the first day we got there, the day before BlizzCon, we uh, met up with the, uh, it was like a community meet and greet at the Hilton Hotel, I think. And uh, we got to meet a lot of developers, pretty much the entire team for Diablo 3. Got to ask a couple questions, have a couple drinks, had a really good time, met a lot of streamers as well. Uh, who was there? Moldrin, Archon the Wizard, Zis, uh, Swifty. There's a whole bunch of different streamers and people involved with the community. Um, but that was really cool. Then of course the next day, BlizzCon itself. Had a great time at BlizzCon. Saw all sorts of cool things, met a lot of people. Um, got to play a lot of Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. And that was really cool. And um, that's pretty much it. Walked around the next two days, recorded a lot of the events and stuff, and uh, like I said, that's all in the YouTube video that's up on our channel as well. And then we uh, went back, came back to Florida, and I think maybe two or three days later was the launch of the PS4. So we actually live streamed the PS4 launch, or kind of. We uh, streamed from Walmart as we were picking it up. I'm sure some of you guys out there saw that. We had around 2,500 viewers or something like that. And um, came back, played some Killzone, completed that. Played some Assassin's Creed, completed that. Um, played Need for Speed Rivals, completed that. But I think we streamed for about a week, 24-7. Got a lot of fun out of that system. Nice system, in my opinion. And then, not long after, there was the Xbox One launch. We got the Xbox One as well. For that, we picked up Forza 5 and um, Dead Rising 3, which are both really good games. Unfortunately, that's about it for the games that we cared to play. So, both systems right now literally have no games out that we have interest in playing. We're kind of like stuck with those systems until, I don't know, three or four months until some new games start coming out. But uh, we have them, we played them. I know a lot of people are asking which is better, blah, 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 blah. We will, uh, we will try to make a video explaining what we like about both systems, pros and cons. We're honestly PC gamers at heart, so we don't really have any bias to one or the other. We have them both. We enjoy them both. They're both really good systems, and um, I'll try to go into that a little bit more on another YouTube video. Um, so that that happened. That's actually still going on, and he goes in the next room playing Forza 5 right now. And then um, just a couple days ago, we actually had a viewer send us some Twitch hoodies. That's uh, hashtag Denson Worldwide, I believe, or something like that. Denfin. Hashtag Denfin Worldwide sent us three Twitch TV hoodies, which was really awesome. Um, I'm not going to ask how that went down, but they were a surprise and we got them. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see, last night 
which was November 30th, I believe, or, yeah. We uh, spent a couple hours and did some tie-dyeing live on stream. And I know there were a lot of people hanging out throughout the night watching us do that. We tie-dyed somewhere around 25 shirts and assorted sizes, and we're gonna try to give most of those away to our subscribers like once a week as sub giveaways. So make sure you check back about that. We'll definitely hammer out some more information and um, pass that along to you guys. Um, so, oh, a couple more things. Pretty big deal for us here at Streamer House. As of about a week ago, we are now a official featured stream on Twitch. So every now and then if there's no big events or anything going on, you can go to Twitch and see us on the front page. Now you can see Adam playing some Forza 5 or Inigo playing some Forza 5 on Xbox One. Really cool, really psyched that uh, Twitch shows us for this. That'll help us continue to play games that might not necessarily be the most popular on the list, but uh, still be able to, to get new viewers. So that's really cool. And another new thing would be the Streamer House hoodies and t-shirts. These just went live about a day ago, and uh, they are limited edition. Uh, we are making 100 t-shirts and 50 sweatshirts, and currently you can see 22 days remaining, 27 out of 100 sold, so already a quarter of the shirts are gone. And then the hoodies, 12 out of 50 sold, also 22 days remaining. As soon as these uh, hit their goal, the shirts will go straight into print and start going out. And they're actually available worldwide. So I know there's a lot of countries out there that uh, generally can't participate in some of those types of things. And uh, these will be available pretty much to any country that uh, we haven't, well, at least we haven't had anyone say um, that they weren't able to get it shipped there. And the prices are actually really reasonable for international shipping. I've heard like, $4.99 to Australia, maybe like 10 bucks to Norway. Pretty fair pricing. And if you order multiple products, like um, two shirts, two hoodies, something like that, you actually only have to pay like an additional $1 or something like that for the, um, the extra shirts. So that's really cool. And uh, we appreciate you guys out there who have ordered already. The shirts are, the, the company who make those are actually the same company who did the Twitch TV clothing and are still doing the Twitch TV clothing. And since we got this hoodie, I saw it was really high quality and decided to uh, partner up with them as well. So I'll post a link in the uh, stream at the bottom, or not the stream, but the, um, the YouTube video down at the bottom and you guys can check that out. Um, anything else? We are currently waiting for the, uh, the wheel to be released for the Xbox One. Uh, they keep pushing it back. It was supposed to be released on launch, and then it got pushed back to a couple days ago, and apparently it's been pushed back again. So we don't know when exactly that's gonna come out, but when it does, we'll most likely get the Xbox One wheel and play some Forza, and you guys can check that out. I'll show you the little setup we have planned for it. It's just a little desk. It's got some pedals at the bottom. Um, and the wheel mounts right on top. You have room for your keyboard and mouse. You can move it around a little bit and the wheels all lock. So we'll be able to move it into the console room and play some racing games, which will be really cool. Um, all right, so I think that's pretty much everything for this. I am gonna do a question and answer video next. So you can go ahead and check that out. It should be up around the same time. And uh, we'll let Inigo say hello. Hey. Hello, Inigo. What's going on? What are you doing? Is this the porno? <laughs>